This is Mark Espy once again, the Robin Hood Trader, and with MarketTamer.com, we're looking at the SPX, the Standard & Poor's 500 Index. Must remind everyone once again, this is all for educational purposes only. Please don't go out and buy anything based upon looking at this video. Okay, uh, very similar to the story that we saw in the Dow, uh, has been a tremendous move to the upside. We put in a it wasn't a doji but it was a spinning top a narrow range trading day some indecision a swing low down here in late february and since that point we've moved up just un unbelievably because there was only a couple days really in here that displayed any kind of bearish sentiment whatsoever so as you can see this move was just almost straight up and then from this point for the last couple weeks, two to two and a half weeks, it has flattened somewhat. So it's run out of a little bit of its steam. We actually were in a sideways area right here into a flag. And we then broke out of that flag and continued up, stair-stepping its way up. So very similar to what I had indicated on the Dow, I am long, but I'm cautiously long and hedged and have been because I have felt actually ever since this was, was a real target right here that I felt was going to be a lot more resistance than what it actually ended up being which is 1150 and it just kind of blew right through that area almost disregarding it totally so really ever since that uh, point I have been still long but uh, more hedged from that point forward because I do feel that we are overbought that we're due for a pullback so I think being nimble certainly is a prudent thing and being ready for a move like that although it continues to move up and as we well know low volume moves can move the stock market and as I had mentioned on the Dow again I feel it's not so much uh, a bullish sentiment market but a lack of bearish intervention with a lot of indecisive people sitting on the sidelines wondering what's going to happen from this point forward. So again, where would I be looking uh, for this to go? This broke out really out of this little uh, flag, this little consolidation, and I think that this could easily move up to the 1250, 1300 area. There is some confluence from uh, years past at this level up uh, 1250 and 1300 so that would be the target to the upside on the downside I would look for a break below this recent little congestion which is about 1175 and and then again below this flag would be another area that I would look for which would be about 1160 maybe actually at the bottom of this little swing low here which is closer to 1150 would be a target this swing high that uh, the market totally disregarded and just blew right past there should provide some support if in fact the market if the SPX retraced to that level. The swing low that we find back here about uh, 1090 should act as support as well as this swing low that we find here from February at 1044. So uh, also wanted to point this out too this was fairly impressive was this channel right here and the low part of that channel was just below 1090 and the upper part was just below 1120 so this whole area should act as support if in fact it retraced again the the uh, volume has been unimpressive the stochastics is not telling us much of anything other than it is overbought the MACD was uh, beginning to roll over, but it didn't complete its task. We do have a bearish divergence here in the histogram, and we need to pay attention to that. Uh, that could be an indication of things to come. So uh, I would say if you're going to remain long, that's fine, uh, but be nimble. And I would say be cautiously long because uh, we're running into areas where, where I think extremely overbought we're running into areas that I think could provide some resistance and we're looking for and probably do for a pullback 
Okay, we're going to move on and take a look at the COP queue.